Thanks for doing all this stuff. Yeah, oh, absolutely. It. Hello. That room is so awesome. Yeah. It's going to yeah. be, I hope. You're, oh, it is. you're really breaking the crust on it. I know. You're, you're so proud. It's neat. <laughs> all right, we will rock and roll on this. All right, Bill, you'll we'll start the first segment here. And three, two, one. 1025 The Bull, we're here with Sarah Evans in the studio with us. Sarah, it's always good to see you. Thank you. Thanks good for to coming see you in. all. Yeah. We saw you at the Country Strong premiere, and your heels were like, I don't know how you were walking on them. <laughs> I know. My stylist is so mean. Uh -huh. She really is. Yeah, I tell you, what we got to ask about, did you ask her about the shoes? Cause, the shoes, yeah. yeah. Sorry, I got distracted. Yes, those are from BB. And yeah. I have had so many comments about those shoes because of the color. Uh -huh. They're like a purple, blue. Yeah, they're really cute. Um, but they are like six inch heels. Yeah, I was going to say that I thought they came from Love Stuff. From what? Love Stuff. <laughs> no. Yeah, stripper clothes. Oh, well, they could have. I don't know. I liked them. That was, <laughs> They're high. That was Thank not you. bad. I was just, I mean, the second we got in the car, mm -hmm. leaving the film, I, I took them off. <laughs> yeah, were, yeah. They were they uncomfortable? I can't even walk imagine in? walking. I mean, they weren't horrible. horrible. They were comfortable, but just, you know, you can only be in six inch heels for so long. I, yeah. I wouldn't know. I have worn them okay, on maybe stage. I you have? I have worn them on stage. And, um,. The challenge. That takes a lot of practice, say. I'm sure. Yeah. Aren't you scared about tumbling off the stage like Jimmy Buffett did? I mean, you know. Uh, I read scary. somewhere where Eva Longoria said um, she could play soccer in heels, and I'm the same way. Really? really? You get around them good? Just because I've been wearing them for so long, having to dance on stage, and yeah. So. Looks horrible. Watch me fall down today. <laughs> <on stage>. <laughs> <Karma>. <laughs> so your new single, A Little Bit Stronger, is on the Country Strong soundtrack. Yes. It's a great song. It's also going to be on your new album when it comes out. Do we have a date yet? March 8th. Okay, great. Yeah, so we're about six weeks away from album release, and um, it's been so great because the song is not only the first single for my album, which is, you know, it's been mm -hmm. a few years since I've had a new album out, but it, then it's getting like double whammy with being on the Country Strong soundtrack. That's awesome. So, which, have you seen the movie? Oh, yeah, yeah. we Did were there like the it? night you said with the oh, premiere. Oh, yeah, you were at the yeah. premiere. Yeah, it was great. Um, and you know, it's 24, on the, it's, she's in the top 25 already with this song. Oh, I believe it. It's every time it comes on. I not help but sing along. Oh, thank you. With my voice of an angel, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and the album's Sorry to ruin it for and, you. And the, and the album's going to be called Stronger? The album is called Stronger. All these strongs. Awesome. I love it. Yeah. And the new book, uh, we heard you have a book signing. Or you, you have, you have, we're going to be doing this tomorrow. We're talking to you today, but okay. we're going to do this tomorrow. Uh, you had the book signing last night. Yes. So. Book signing last night at Books A Million. And um, it's, the, it's the weirdest thing that I wrote a book. I was just approached by Thomas Nelson um, I believe in 06 about writing a novel and I was like there's no way I mean I, I mean I've, I've never even thought about writing a book and they said well we'll put you with a co-writer and so I just ended up agreeing to it I was in a a place at that time where um, it was just a really good opportunity for yeah. me to sit and you know just think about what kind of a story would I like to tell so I decided to tell a story about women in their relationships, you know, mothers and daughters and sisters and friends, because all my favorite stories are like um, Hope Floats, Divine Secrets oh, yeah. of the yeah. Sisterhood. Sandra um, Bullock movies, basically. A lot of Sandra Bullock, <laughs> yeah, and Ashley Judd movies. And um, anyway, a lot of uh, Fried Green Tomatoes, mm -hmm. Steel Magnolias, those kind of great stuff. Women relationships, yeah. and um, so it's this is a it's a really cool book. I mean, my co-writer is just she's amazing. I just basically said. This is what I want. I want the character to be like this, and I want her to... This is Jade. This is Jade. And um, so last year, the book, the first one came out, Sweet By and By, and then this is the second in the series of Good. three. So Softly and tenderly. Softly and tenderly, yeah. yeah. And they all the books, all three of the books have gospel song names. Oh, yeah. yeah. That's awesome. Thank you. Is it, are these favorites you had growing up? Did you like some of these? Or anything? Yeah, well, and also we were just trying to like, um, you know, because the whole entire story is a big story about redemption and forgiveness and finding your relationship with God and, you know, figuring out what that means. And um, so every book we were, we were thinking about titles, like what would be a great gospel hymn that goes with this story? You know, okay. so Softly and Tenderly is 
is, and you'll and you have to read it to figure That's out. That's cool. And you're going to do four books total, so this is three, three total. So you, yeah. this is your second one in the series. It was going to be four, and then I heard it's three, which makes me think they don't really like them. I don't know. Everybody, <laughs> no, everybody has three, like Twilight, the Hunger yeah. Games, uh, all yeah. these like famous. Yeah. Yeah. Three, yeah. So that's good. They're actually they do want me to write four books, but they want the fourth one to be a totally okay. different. Okay, good. That's so, so cool. Well, let's We're talking with Sarah first. Evans. Oh, go ahead. <laughs> Right. <laughs> Guys, just okay. Everybody Quit calm fighting down. over it's her. Everybody calm beauty. down. It's the beauty of editing. <laughs> <laughs> We're talking with Sarah Evans on 102.5 The Bowl. We'll be back with more with fan questions from Facebook. Ready? In three, two, one. <laughs> oh, I start. <laughs> yeah. I started the first one. Oh, okay. Yeah. It's 102.5 The Bowl with Dollarville Madison and Sarah <laughs> Evans. Y'all are awesome. I mean, like, you're so polite. You remember those chipmunks that used to be, like, so polite to oh, each other? Yeah. No, I insist. Yes, no, oh, I insist. No, no, no you go. No. Oh, no, no, no. Before you, after you. No, no. That's we're not we're really are. like that, though. You're not. You're mm -hmm. just on best behavior. Yeah, we're, we're on best behavior. Yeah, you're, okay. you're looking. Mm -hmm. We have some questions that we asked on Facebook for you know people that really want to ask you questions that maybe uh -huh. couldn't make it to Same our questions. lunch today. Yeah. Okay. So here's what we got from Zane Brasher. When did you start singing? Four years old. Uh, my parents put me on stage with my two older brothers. Okay. And made me memorize every country music song ever recorded basically so, so we all in act for a while you and oh, your yeah. brothers uh, my whole childhood we were I didn't know um, that. Well, we were the evans family band with, how many were there um two brothers and me and then and then they hired musicians to okay. kind of fill out the rest of the band and then it became the sarah evans show naturally <laughs> uh, <laughs> and uh then my brother matt and i are the ones that like you know stayed in it and he's still my band leader he's my bass player oh that's good that. that's yeah. good so that is awesome. so neat. I didn't know y'all had had the, the family van. That's cool. Yeah. Well, Tiffany Rose wrote, uh, wrote and asked us, uh, since she knows who your husband is, what are your thoughts about Auburn this year <laughs> and the Auburn winning the national championship? Oh, Lord. Now, I have to be so careful about answering that. Right. Gosh. I mean, political. I'm, from, I'm from Missouri, okay? We have the Missouri Tigers. Uh -huh. And, you know, it, we're, we have a rivalry with Nebraska, a big rivalry, but we don't have this. And, you know, I've been <laughs> in Birmingham for about three years now, I guess. And um, obviously, I'm a total Alabama fan, and I was an SEC fan already from living in Tennessee for so many years. Um, but I just know, and, and then I just know that it's been a weird year. That's all I'm going to say. And then I know that Jay is, he's, he, it's hard for him because, you know, on his show, if he compliments Auburn and says they did a good job, and, you know, he, if he's honest, then they get mad, but then if he doesn't compliment Auburn, then, they, then get mad. they get mad. And uh, he's like, let's just talk about music. <laughs> <laughs> he is kind of caught in a bad situation being caught. such an Alabama yeah. uh, legend. Really. So, but Jay is nothing but authentic. If I mean, nothing if not authentic. And he's, he's always just going to be honest about what he thinks regardless. And so I think that's what people love about him is he's... You know, well, I'm a huge, I'm an Alabama graduate, I'm an Alabama fan, but I was glad Auburn won. I thought it was mm -hmm. great for the state, great, mm -hmm. I thought it was wonderful. Yeah. I mean, what can I say? <laughs> uh -huh. She ain't going to say that. No. Right. Shannon Smith says, if you could record a duet with anybody, who would it be? Well, after watching American Idol, um, the last two weeks, you know, Steven Tyler. How do you like I, the new one, by the way? I love it. I love it. Isn't it great? Steven's ma Tyler has made it, Steven Tyler's made it completely different. J-Lo's okay, but he has made that show, and I'm loving it. I it's, love it. I like it better than I did the last few weeks. It's so good. Ago. And I would say Steven Tyler is in my top definitely my top 10 list because when you start thinking about Aerosmith and um, like last night I was like oh my gosh I cannot believe they did Dream On yeah. you know did you watch it last night I didn't I was at the circus one of the girls <laughs> that's, that was a funny answer I didn't know <laughs> I was at the circus <laughs> <laughs> I have an excuse my boss gets mad if I don't watch it I was, no, I have an excuse Steve and Tyler would be one for sure Good. yeah that was neat last night when they did that and he sang with a couple of the Oh, I know. A little bit. It was cool. Uh, Rebecca Belcher and Teresa Springfield both wrote in, the, uh, wrote in the same question. How do you like living in Birmingham? You said you've been here about three years. Everybody wants to know, how do you like it here? I absolutely love it. I swear to you. I mean, I feel like I am finally home. I'm so settled and comfortable. And, Good. you know, the little neighborhood where we live is just it's very quaint and small. And, you know, we can walk to Starbucks and... My so kids cool. walk to school, so it's just, it's been a very easy transition, but I will say, um, y'all are the nicest people in, I mean, everywhere that I've gone, and I've been everywhere, and people in Birmingham, and really all over Alabama are just, I mean, seriously, I'm glad to hear that. so nice, and everyone is 
been so welcoming and no one has been like everyone's been very genuinely nice not because of any other reason other than they want to be neighborly that's cool so that's good is, to know it's been a huge blessing for my life and my children and the kids like it here oh my gosh they love it excellent how long do you have all seven together um every other weekend we have all seven together and every other week in the summer i can't imagine uh-huh so every other weekend and every other week in the summer and then on wednesday nights um it is it you yeah, know it's awesome like last night yesterday i had to go to texas for the day so the my day. flight my flight <laughs> i know my flight got in at 5.30, so I got home about 6, and um, all seven kids were there with Jay, and he, he always has them alone. I mean, he's so, I mean, he is so, like, just low-key. He'll just, you know, just, he'll take him, he'll take all seven to an Alabama game by himself. Really? Yeah, if I have a show or something. No nannies? No. Wow. No nannies. We only use nannies if we both physically cannot be there. Like, if, you know, both we, have, we have an event, you know, or whatever that we have to do, but. Good Lord. Yeah. It's, seven. I know. <laughs> Bless your heart. And <laughs> but we you play sports. That's today. all we do is play sports. So That's great. It keeps We're everybody together doing stuff and focused. Yeah, that's right. It's awesome. Well, Sarah, thanks for being with us. We thank just uh, We thank you for coming up and doing the performance in the in the room yesterday. We thank you for all you do for the area. And, and we just wish you the best with the, the song a little bit stronger. I think it's just phenomenal. Thank you very much. And the new album. Thanks for having me.